Hey guys, it's Owen from Wrestling Inc. back with another wrestling news roundup. Without any further ado, let's get into today's biggest stories in the world of professional wrestling. Jonathan Gresham injured, pulled from upcoming events. The ROH and Progress World Champion Jonathan Gresham is dealing with an injury, as noted earlier through a tweet by Progress Wrestling. The promotion posted a video of Gresham revealing the injury and apologizing to fans for missing out on upcoming appearances. The newly signed AEW talent was checked out for a possible concussion following his match against Dalton Castle this past Friday at the Battle of the Bouts taping according to Fightful Select. It was noted that the concussion likely came when he took a bump on the head slash shoulder from a gut wrench suplex. Quotes, Hello everyone, unfortunately I will not be able to make it to London this weekend for the Sunday and Monday events due to an injury, Gresham says. I have not been cleared to compete, so I do want to apologise to Progress and the fans for not being able to make it this weekend. I really wanted to, but my health comes first and I have just to take a little time off. Once I'm cleared, I'll definitely be back and I really look forward to being back and working with progress and performing for you guys. So, please keep me in your prayers, I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time and thank you for understanding. Gresham was scheduled to appear at Progress 132 on April 17 and Progress 133 on April 18, but as mentioned he had been pulled from both events. They promise he will return for Chapter 134 on Sunday, May 15. Kid Lycos will replace Gresham as Chris Ridgway's opponent on the Progress shows. Jonathan Gresham is also scheduled to face Eddie Edwards in a non-title match at the Impact Wrestling Rebellion pay-per-view on Saturday, April 23rd. It will be interesting to see if he will be cleared in time for the show with less than a week to recover. Becky Lynch on why she hasn't been on WWE Raw since WrestleMania 38. WWE shared a video on Twitter of Becky Lynch explaining her absence from WWE Raw. Lynch hasn't been on Raw since losing the Raw Women's Championship to Bianca Belair at WrestleMania 38. Lynch revealed that she hasn't been on Raw because she's not ready to walk out, quote, without her championship. The former Raw Women's Champion was in Syracuse last night at a live event. Quote, it's been three years since the last time I walked out on Raw without the championship, said Lynch. I'm not ready to walk out on Monday Night Raw without my championship. I always have a plan, that's why I'm here in Syracuse, because I'm going to win back my championship. I will walk out tomorrow on Monday Night Raw as your new Women's Champion. Becky Lynch was at the WWE Saturday Night's main event live event in Erie, Pennsylvania over the weekend. At the event, Bianca Belair retained the Raw Women's Championship against Lynch and Rhea Ripley. New NBC ad features only Cody Rhodes representing WWE Raw. During a broadcast for the USFL this weekend, there was a commercial promoting Monday Night Raw on USA Network and Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. The ad prominently shows the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns on the blue Smackdown side as expected. However, on the Raw side, WWE chose to put newly signed talent Cody Rhodes as the superstar representing the red brand. As we noted earlier in the week, Rhodes is slotted as the number two babyface on Raw, second to former WWE Champion Bobby Lashley. Regardless of if he has the top spot or is second on the list, it is clear the company is confident in Cody going forward. Cody Rhodes had multiple segments on WWE Raw last Monday, interacting with The Miz on an entertaining segment of Miz TV and later coming out to defeat The Miz in singles action. It was Cody's first match on WWE Raw in nearly six years. Off camera, Cody has been performing on both of the WWE brands. He was featured in the Dark Match main event segment for WWE SmackDown this past Friday, where he picked up the victory over Seth Rollins after hitting three consecutive crossroads. He has now won four back to back matches since his return at WrestleMania 38 earlier this month. Two WWE NXT superstars given new ring names. 
NXT 2.0 superstars Casey Catanzaro and Kaylee Ray have new ring names, according to PW Insider. Casey Catanzaro's ring name is now Katana Chance. The former American Ninja Warrior star signed with WWE in January of 2018 and then worked the Mae Young Classic Tournament that year. She also participated in the Women's Royal Rumble match in 2019. Casey Catanzaro is currently teaming with Caden Carter and last wrestled at Roadblock. Kaylee Ray's new ring name is Alba Fire. The former NXT Women's Champion made her NXT 2.0 debut at TakeOver 36. She also won this year's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Tournament with Io Shirai. Kaylee Ray last competed at Stand and Deliver in a fatal four-way for the NXT Women's Championship. WWE filed trademarks for both Alba Fire and Katana Chance on April 12. As noted this past week, Raul Mendoza has changed to Cruz del Toro, Austin Theory is now just Theory, and Raquel Gonzalez was renamed Raquel Rodriguez. Vince McMahon Netflix documentary reportedly still in production. During the Q3 earnings call back in 2020, WWE first announced that they had reached a quote groundbreaking deal with Netflix for a Vince McMahon documentary. Since it's been such a lengthy period of time since the announcement, fans may be curious about where the documentary film now stands. The documentary is actually still in production at this time according to PW Insider. It was also noted that though not confirmed, Vince's match against Pat McAfee and the subsequent interactions with Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 38 may be included in the final project. There's still no word on the release date for the Vince documentary or the official title. At the time of the initial reveal, it was said to be, quote, one of the most highest budgeted documentaries in Netflix history. Bill Simmons will executive produce the project, while Chris Smith, who directed Netflix's Firefest documentary, will produce along with WWE. Studios. WWE Chief Brand Officer Stephanie McMahon appeared on the Token CEO podcast earlier this year and revealed that the documentary will be split up into four episodes. As for the content involved, Stephanie claims the series will give a glimpse into the past Vince has kept so private his whole life. Quote, you're going to learn things you've never learned about Vince McMahon. That is his story, it's his life, and it's a little known story. My dad grew up in a trailer park in North Carolina. A lot of people don't know that, end quote. WWE President Nick Khan added to her statement in another interview, hyping the project as, quote, out of this world amazing. Quote, we have seen early cuts of our upcoming Vince McMahon multi-part Netflix documentary, which is executive produced by the WWE and Bill Simmons, who did the acclaimed Andre the Giant documentary with us, Khan said. The Vince cuts are out of this world amazing, wait until you see it. Update on the Owen Hart Foundation men's and women's tournaments in AEW. Ruby Soho has earned a spot in the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament. Friday's AEW Rampage saw Soho defeat Robin Renegade to become the fifth women's division competitor to qualify for the tournament. Soho joins Tony Storm, Jamie Hayter, Red Velvet and Hikaru Shida as confirmed entrants in the women's tournament as of this recording. Next Wednesday's AEW Dynamite will feature Britt Baker vs Danielle Camilla in the sixth qualifier for the women's tournament. Next week's Dynamite will also feature Kyle O'Reilly vs AEW World Tag Team Champion Jungle Boy to determine the second entrant in the Owen Hart Foundation Men's Tournament. There is only one confirmed entrant in the Men's Tournament as of this recording, and that's Ring of Honor World Television Champion Samoa Joe. He defeated Max Caster on the April 6th Dynamite to qualify. Each tournament will have 16 competitors. The first round matches will begin on the May 11 edition of the live AEW Dynamite from the UBS Arena in New York. York. The final of the two tournaments will take place at the Double or Nothing pay-per-view on May 29 in Las Vegas. Dr. Martha Hart will be there live to present the winners with the trophy being billed as the Owen Cup. So what are your thoughts on today's Wrestling News Roundup? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Inc. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon.